Hey everybody, Pastor Brian here, and I'm so excited to be back with you for our Get Your Head in the Game series. It's been great so far. If you remember last week, we talked about how to be a good receiver. Whoa, we gotta catch God's word, because it's coming at us. We don't wanna fumble it or let it get intercepted. We wanna be good receivers. Today, I'm pumped because we're talking about something I'm passionate about, and that is practice. Practice, practice, practice. Here's something you may not know. In college, you play about 12 games a year, but you have about 300 practices a year. Now, I don't know about you, but that just kind of blows my mind. You see, practice is so important because when the tough stuff comes at our life, we're ready, we're prepared. We know exactly what to do and who to turn to. We turn to God, we turn to Jesus, but we've gotta practice doing that or else we won't be prepared when the stuff happens. And God teaches us all about practice. Let's remember our verse because we wanna practice saying that too. It's Colossians chapter three, verse 23 and 24. It says this, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward, it is the Lord Christ you are serving. So if we have plenty of practice in our lives, practice doing things God's way, we're gonna have that great reward, that great victory that God has planned for us. Now to help us out, and teach us a little bit more about practice, I wanna throw it over to Coach Fabian. Coach Fabian, what do you got? What is up, Coach Fabian here, and it's time to practice, practice, and more practice. All good athletes practice in sports to better their game. Likewise, we must practice daily what God wants us to do, and we break bad habits that pull us away from God. Now, I'm gonna break down to you how you can get your head in the game and practice your faith. Number one, we need to pray. We need to do this every single day. Not just when we need something from God, but every single day. Number two, you must read your Bible every single day. Just like a football athlete reads his playbook and knows what he's doing, we need to read our Bible so that whenever the enemy attacks, we know how to respond. The Bible is our playbook. Number three, we need to get active and we need to show everybody God's love and what he's done in our life. Get involved and tell everybody about God. Number four, worship. We need to worship God every single day and thank him for what he's done. Not only when we're in church lifting up our hands, but every single day from the moment we wake up, thank him for what he's done for you. When we commit to Jesus, we must be all in. Living a life that is righteous and glorifies God takes us putting in the work. It's not easy and at times we will face challenges and feel discouraged or want to quit. But if we stay the course, we will see how all this practice will better our game as we strengthen our faith. Back to you, Pastor Brian. Thanks, Coach Fabian. Great stuff right there. Remember, practice is so important. Practice takes commitment. And it reminds me of a personal story. I was on the basketball team in high school and our team did good and we made the playoffs. The problem was the coach scheduled a bunch of practices over Christmas vacation. And I said to myself, it's Christmas vacation. I'm not going to practice, I'm taking a vacation. So I didn't. I skipped practice, I hung out at home, I opened presents, I ate cookies. It was the best Christmas ever. And then when school started up again, I got all suited up, got my uniform on, went to the game, and guess what? The coach didn't let me play. I didn't get to play at all. I had to sit on the bench the whole time. Not one minute did I get in. And worse than that, our team lost. We lost in the first round of the playoffs and we were out altogether. All because I was selfish. I wasn't committed and I didn't want to practice. It really hurt me, but not just me, it hurt my teammates and hurt our school. Now the same is true with God. We gotta be committed and we have to be willing to practice or else it's gonna hurt us 
and it's gonna hurt the people that God has put in our lives. Now, you know there's a couple ways to practice. We need to read the Bible. We need to pray. We need to make sure we're coming to church as much as we possibly can. These things are building us up, filling us up, strengthening us, so we're gonna be good to go when it comes time for God's game. Now here's a little illustration. I have a balloon right here, and it reminds me of a verse that says this, faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. So if you're not hearing the Word of God, if you're not praying, reading the Bible, if you're not in church, this is how big your spirit is. This is how strong you are. Not very strong, is it? But when we're practicing, when we're reading the Bible, when we're in church, when we're praying, then our spirit's getting bigger and stronger like this. But we don't wanna just stop there. We wanna keep getting stronger, keep practicing. Don't give up, keep learning, keep growing, read your Bible, pray, come to church as much as you can. And you're gonna get bigger, your spirit's gonna get stronger and stronger and stronger. So when tough things happen, when you're going through something hard, when there's a challenge, well, you're big and strong and ready, you can handle it, you are full of faith. You trust God, he's gonna help you and get you through it. But it didn't just happen automatically. It happened because you were ready, you were prepared, you practiced, and that made you stronger. That made you full of the good things that God has for you. So don't be like me, skipping practice, not being committed, because that'll make you like this. Weak. You want to be big and strong in your spirit, full of faith, so that God can do great things through you and in you. And the first thing we can do, we do it every week, we can accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And if you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior right now, I want to pray for you. Because this is important. You don't just do these things and pray and read your Bible because you have to or because we told you to. You get to do these things. You want to be closer to God because He is so good and so amazing. He loves you and He's forgiven you of your sin. He's got heaven planned for you one day. That's amazing. That's an amazing good God that you want to get to know. So don't, don't feel like it's a bunch of chores or things you have to do. It's a good thing. When we do these things, we get closer to God. It's amazing. But again, it all starts with knowing Him, accepting Him in your heart. So if you want to accept Jesus in your heart, pray this prayer with me. Say, Dear God, I believe that Jesus died for me and rose again. So I accept him as my Lord. Come live in my heart and help me get to know you more and more. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome job, everybody. If you did just pray that prayer or if you've prayed it before and you know Jesus now, make sure to start practicing. Read your Bible, pray, be in church as much as you can, worship God, and this is gonna help you get to know Him more and more and be ready for the game of life that you can win because God is on your side. Let's keep our heads in the game and we can't wait to see you on the next one. God bless you guys.